Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I'm Mark. I'm Cry. And today we are retesting 12.4.3. We have uh, recalibrated the cameras. We have reset the system too as well. We want to give it the benefit of the doubt because we have had a lot of our viewers asking for us to do this to, to try to see if it improves the performance. We are having similar conditions. It's not really so much rush hour, so there's not too much traffic. We will see if it if it adds some kind of difference here. I'll be hoping that there is some kind of improvement. I'm just excited to see if there's really going to be a huge difference. I really hope so because, I mean, I know they have their, their goals for their company and all that. So hopefully it's better because the last version was pretty good and I really hope it does improve. So now we're going to start off now with the first left turn. It, it's very timid in terms of going up and it's blocking the car in front of us. I'm going to have to disengage again re-engage and now this person wants to come now and go straight so that's how yeah. accidents occur right so it did a good job thing. though and okay. we can go now a little hesitancy there we haven't yeah. seen that in a while actually and then it just shoots off into the and yeah. then it, it for some reason it wants to go into the right lane so i thought it was doing that in our past video if you want to check it out uh check that out you will see that it, it went to the right lane like it did here and then it went back into the left lane i thought it was doing that because the left lane was congested oh but we have a different scenario here where this lane is open now this time oh wow yeah so it changed <laughs> <laughs> so this is to tell you how this whole landscape just changes on a regular basis before this whole lane was closed off in our last video uh this whole lane was closed off and you had to make the right lane from the furthest left lane now it's all that has changed completely in a matter of like a day. A few days, yeah. <laughs> so it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, but it handled it much better. I mean, that was a different case in that case, though. It didn't fix the positioning in terms of making that left turn. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to disengage, report, uh, and then it made the left turn, waiting for that person to pass first. Which, was, but then shortly after that left turn, it just accelerated. It just mm -hmm. rocketed itself straight forward. Yeah, that was. It, it, we were only a few meters from the actual line, and it was already like 68. Yeah, it was clear. There, there was no no reason to, to do that. This lane is yeah. ending, and usually sometimes it would it would indicate and get over to this lane, but now okay. well, now it did that, but only in the last minute. So I I just wanted to report that so that way they can get some training on it, recognizing those signs. We're kind of jiggling here. So we have to make this left turn now. We have, we are all good to go. I don't know too sure why, and we're getting hung at. So <laughs> I have to intervene now for it to proceed and make that left turn. That was kind of not good. Yes, like I'm not too sure why I did that. So that again, folks, you're seeing here that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the the confidence level significantly decreased. It reduced, yes. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's an actual like AI confidence level measurement or if it's just how the car is performing, like. We're not really sure because we don't have access to that information. But now we went onto the right side. Did we do this the last time? We did, no, right? No, it kept on the left side. Um, actually. Uh, actually, yes, we stayed on the left side, and then it, it just continued to stick to this lane instead of getting onto the furthest left lane to make the left turn. The lane right. was congested last time. It, it does have some congestion now, and it should indicate okay. Okay, this so one's okay. This one was better. Uh, it's hard to compare. Well, at that point in the past, the cars were reaching all here. This one was a tough one to compare because um, the situation wasn't exactly the same. That's the thing about this problem, and that's why it's so complex because you have so many variations in the environment from pedestrians to construction to drivers. It's a lot going on. and Also road density, like the amount of people on the road. The amount of people at a single point in time, it's it's a lot. And so, you know, like, I mean, I guess that doesn't really help uh, <laughs> Tesla's case in terms of delivering RoboTaxi by first quarter of 2025. Let us know in the comments section what you think so far of the system, how it's operating. The system should start going up. So it's going up now. It should start getting up to speed. We have a protected left turn. Starts indica well, it indicated from before gets into the lane pace it, was a little bit slow actually it does that well we have cars that actually now that are now making the left turn because they're probably on their phones but wow <laughs> <laughs> geez that was bad for them but the system handled it all right it handled it decently yeah we made it up to 30 kilometers an hour which is good which is what's recommended for a left turn so yeah. that was um that was comfortable that was not too bad yeah, yeah. Could have been sure. a little bit faster, yes. I feel like, though. A little bit more assertive. We hit the, the 30 mark at the line. 
we were going about like 28, 29 um, on the actual turn. Right. So it would have been better if we could have sped up a little bit more because then you get more people to make that turn. So far, we're not getting any nags. So that's great. That's established. We also have it indicating green here too as well. So it shows that it's being, we are being monitored. My face is being monitored. So I'm mm. attentive. So far, so good. Um, we haven't had much of a chance to see the manholes being avoided yet. I actually did see, um, I'm not too sure why it's slowing down now. Okay, we see one here, but it's not a big hole. It's just like there. But before, uh, from again, from our last video, when we had a motorcyclist or motorbike right next to us, it kind of jerked when it saw at least a manhole I thought at the beginning that same spot it just went straight so I it's really difficult to see whether or not it recognizes manholes at this point right it did seem like that when when the motorcycle wasn't there but it's really hard to tell all right so we're coming up to this left turn here I would have gotten into that left turn lane already so it, it waited kind of late to get into it uh, and then we have it's kind of slowing down behind the line, but I would have creeped up into the box car uh, coming here. They're coming in a little bit quick. Um, and okay. that was smooth. That was good. They were turning anyway, so yeah. that was good. So that was a really good, really good, smooth, comfortable. Again, you just have slight nuances, like slight issues with regards to lane positioning and just creeping up into the box. Oh, we had some issues here this before. This it got really, it got confused which lane it should be in. In this case, it, it was able to quickly get into and remain into this lane oh we have a blockage here now in front of us uh i would like to see how that's gonna be handled we have okay, someone opening up the something. door now oh boy oh boy uh, ah. okay yeah, okay it's gonna go straight <laughs> in yeah so yeah <laughs> it doesn't recognize oh, fences my gosh. even using the occupancy network which is strange it, it had something there but yes. i don't think you could see what that was yes it had the occupancy network in front of us it like was I showing something on the lumps. ground but it still didn't recognize it. That was so strange. We we're about folks. to hit that fence. Yeah. <laughs> we we're about to slam into that fence. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I mean, this is why, you know, like, I admire Tesla for trying to solve one of the most difficult problems in the world. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it has improved. I want to see how it's going to do this again. Because the last time I was, I liked the... Um the stopping area uh, no, so it's not consistent and it, the system has to be consistent folks let's just try one let's just see how it goes around the rest okay. i just want to see the rest of this okay we have to carry it to the end you know <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you to the very last spot that we ended before we continued for some reason Okay, so it sees the car. Maybe it's going to find a way around the car. It's stops. going to try to get inside of this spot here, indicating and then slowly getting in. So we have a little bit of sidewalk on our side here that we could walk on technically. It's going to the end of this um, little area. And that is it. We're also a little diagonal. The last time. Continue. <laughs> why does it continue to do that? Can you let us know why it continues to, 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 to go to some random destination, <laughs> even though... We are at our destination at zero meters. Not too sure why it does that. Let us know in the comment section. Uh, let us know what you think of this uh, this drive. I was surprised with that with that fence. Uh, I honestly thought it was going to stop because of the occupancy network. That's probably that's why we have it right. uh, to recognize objects that otherwise can't be classified. Mm -hmm. But it didn't seem like it was going to, and I didn't want to take that chance, obviously. Um, <laughs> but. But I mean, yeah. we made it very close until you had to stop. I thought you were going to stop sooner, to be honest. Yeah. I want, I, again, I, you know, we go, we go, we take the chance, folks. We, we try our best to get a really honest and balanced uh, review on, on these software updates because we want to give the audience, whether it's, you know, <laughs> Tesla folks or p people who just are interested in the technology who want to know how it performs, they can have a look and see how it is genuinely performing in these situations the only thing i feel different between the two is maybe one the density of the road was less this time so it was a little harder to to check but i think the last time it was like confidently bad and this time was unconfidently okay 
So yeah. that's the, that's the comparison I feel like. But then almost hitting the fence kind of puts it into that almost bad category. Yeah, it was going great. Like honestly, it was going it was going all right. Um in terms of it still has those issues with the with the positioning. I'm I'm always going to talk about that because this is how if you if we are navigating around um uh, if we're getting to a destination and there are humans involved, human drivers involved, that's how we we have to 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 work with that's what we have mm-hmm. to work with right now. So in terms of, you know, making that S, giving the, the, the person on the other side who's making a left turn t- the visibility to make it and not cause an accident. I could, we could have, honestly, we could have just left it, let it do its own thing. But it would, it would really aggravate drivers behind us and in front of us, as you saw from our first left turn. So right now it, it is kind of a nuisance on the road, <laughs> I would say, <laughs> for other drivers. Um, when it comes to making turns. Uh, right, we got honked at also. Yeah, we got honked at. <laughs> and, and you saw that, folks. We saw that. And we got honked at too as well in our last video again <laughs> when we made the first left turn. So there are some consistencies there that needs to be improved. And, and um, yeah. I mean, honking is subjective, but I think in that case, we deserved it. Yeah, this, we did. This time, it. we deserved it. Last time, questionable. <laughs> yes, because of the rush hour traffic and yeah, congested left that's lane. that's a different scenario. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. If you would like to see any videos of us going downtown, I'm honestly thinking that they most likely will not release 12.4.3 to the rest of the public because of how bad it is. I'm sorry. Um, because I'm seeing, or we are seeing some major step backs from the software. All right, folks. So that's pretty much our point of view, myself and Cry. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And as always, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.